Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And boy, have we been having a roller coaster here in the U.S. So today I just needed something simple to do, something in the craft room that would just give me an opportunity to set the world aside, to set everything that's going on. The weather here has turned crappy in the, in the Finger Lakes. We are actually back to normal fall weather, but it's rainy and cold and just, ugh. you know, it's a good day to stay inside and do some crafting. So what I've decided to do today, because I, yes, I have a lot of uh, Christmas ephemera to go in my things, but you know, you can always use more. And I decided I wanted some tags because I don't have a lot of tags. And when I don't use this year, I'll use next year. So if you want to craft with me, you need a cutter of some sort. Your scissors will work just fine. Or a guillotine. Uh, you need, uh, this is just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of plain cardstock, double-sided cardstock. Um, plain stuff. You're going to need some, where'd they go? I don't know, some ephemera of some sort. I've got some here. I did this yesterday. Um, I had bought a little jar of gesso. I'll show it to you. I got this. It's Artist's Loft, Loft White Gesso. I didn't know how to use it. It's been sitting on my shelf for a couple of months. And I had seen, I oh, maybe it was Carrie the Crafter, do this thing with book pages where he just put a little bit of white gesso over the top of it and then stamped. And I thought I could do that, I think. So I went ahead and did it. And with varying results, <clears throat> excuse me, I took these three stamps. I had a Santa, a candy cane, and a present, and I'm throwing those away because obviously they don't give good impressions anymore. They're very old. They're right here. I'll show you one. It's this kind. It's They're just really old. They don't bend anymore. They're stiff. I'm just tossing them. Life is too short to keep stuff that doesn't work. So I have those to rip up and, and use. I have this set of vintage stickers that I bought last year. I might probably use those. I have tissue paper to use with Christmas stuff on it. We I, This piece has fallen out three times. I'm going to leave it out because obviously it wants to be used. I have some craft paper that might end up on these. You know, who knows? You got stuff. We'll play. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this paper in half. It's eight and a half by 11. I'm going to cut them down to five inches, five and a half inches. Now I have two sheets. By the way, I just changed the blade in here. Oh my glory, it runs like butter now. So I really like it. All right, so now we're gonna come to three inches. I'm gonna cut two. I'm gonna cut three inch tags. I'm gonna do that twice so that I end up with four of those. And then I have a couple of two inch tags. Now we'll set that aside. Okay, my, I can do two of these at a time. I have my card here. If this is a little trick, if you have not been doing this, um, it's easy. If you have an old plastic card, hotel card, old credit card, this was an old store card, and it's very easy to just snip the edges. And now I have tags. And I'm doing two at a time because I'm lazy. And no, I'm efficient. There we go. I'm efficient. Get those lined up. Now you could obviously do this a different way and I will show you a different way in a minute. I'm going to cut those there. I want to remember which ones came from here because I can take that and use it as my template over here if I don't have a store card. So if you don't have a store card, there's still an easy way to make tags. I know some people have dies. Now, these are skinnier. And you notice I have three different cuts here. I could do a fourth one, but I just never did. I did do on a different one. This is a different card, and I have two different cuts here for smaller ones. Um, 
but I have a small one, a very large one, and then that medium sized one that I just used. Did I ever measure these? No, I just cut. And I said, well, I just, just took the store card and I said, let me just figure out an angle and I cut it. So I don't know what angles these are, but that's a little bit smaller. So I wanted a little bit smaller angle up here. All right, let's get rid of these. Off you go. All right, so I have green ones and I have red ones. And I think I'm going to start with the, I don't know. We're going to mass make today, so we're going to do them all. At least I am. Uh, let's start with the red. We're going to start with the red. And I have these. So let me very gently. This is actually a very good paper stock. It, it um, from a, it, it's from a book that a fairly new book actually, but I got bought the book at a well, one of those book sales for like, you know fifty cents, and it was it was going to end up in a landfill because it really was pretty dry, and I thought, nobody's going to buy this book. It's very, very dry. It's a book about George Washington, and I love George Washington. I mean, make no mistake, I, I enjoy reading about him. I've been to Mount Vernon. It's really cool, but the book itself is dry as dust, and history should never, ever be dry. All right. So I have those. I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. I'll put them over here for now. And I have these. So let's go ahead and finish because I really wanted one of these. I wasn't getting, <clears throat> didn't intend to get the joy out. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted one of those because I think that's going to go ahead and be my, that's kind of, there we go. That's my focal point. I generally, generally, my focal point is always the last thing that goes on. All right, we need some music. Let's find some music. Um, I have a really nice page of very old music. I found this. I was downstairs. We have a piano downstairs, and on the, I was found this on the floor next to the piano, and I said to my husband, "What on earth is that?" music doing over there and he said I don't know it just showed up <laughs> because you know music just self-generates who knows but it showed up in the house this is from a Chopin etude book I finally found the book that it belonged to it is so old and so fragile and what I, and I thought it's not good for anything and to be honest with you if you want Chopin etudes they're easy enough to find elsewhere. That's still a little too bit big. Sorry, we're gonna take a little bit of you off, Chopin. We'll, we'll save you. We'll find you maybe another use for you later. Okay. And if you notice, I don't glue things down to start with. Actually, where'd that music go? We'll just stick that here. And where's that joy? Maybe we'll put joy over here. Joy, joy, joy. Okay. I know I shouldn't sing while I'm doing I don't want, think I want that number on there. I thought I did, but I don't. Obviously, I took this from the back of the book. There. We'll save the number. Maybe we'll use it for something later on. Okay, so we got two. I'm saving this page because, oh my glory, look at the how great that is. You know what? Let's put that over here. That is just a really cool old page. We'll put that there. Ha! We're moving right along here. Okay, set that there. But yeah, you notice I don't put, I don't uh, glue things down till I know what I'm going to put and where I'm going to put it. Hang on, I have a piece. I have a bunch of these scraps. Let me pull these out. Where can I put these? 
I'm running out of room on my desk and we're just getting started. Let me put that over there. Okay, these, I'm just pulling out all these things. These are just all little scraps from previous projects. So let's find what we have here. Articles de Paris. I don't know if I want Paris on there. Oh, that's, I like that. Does that make it too busy? Maybe I want it over here with joy. Nope, I don't. I think I do want it right here. Okay, let me grab my little trimmer. I, people call these guillotines, and I, I see why. But I, as a kid growing up in school, they were always just paper cutters. Maybe they didn't want to traumatize us. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. You know what, let's take a little bit more off here. Around that edge a little bit. Around this edge. So we're just playing today. And, and you know, grab your stuff, craft along with me. Let the video play. And come visit with me for a little while. Like I said, the weather here has turned really yucky. Yeah, I like that better. Put those out. I've also moved my trash bag. <clears throat> I had it over here behind me to my right, and it was always behind me. It was always a bit of a, it was always hard to use. I now have it taped to the side of my table over here, and it's been much nicer. I will do another craft room tour come uh, ooh, I might like that one better there. I, I will do another craft room tour <clears throat> come January because I have changed some things up. I've moved some things around. The other thing I'm doing and is getting ready for a crop retreat. So let's see, today is Monday. So Thursday, I'm leaving on a crop retreat. I've got a whole bunch of stuff ready. I will probably do a getting ready video for next Friday because, oh my glory, I have so much I have to do yet. Compliments of the season. Maybe we want to move this stuff up to the middle. Okay, I like that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, glue some stuff down. I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I remembered something I wanted to pick up. So I went and grabbed this. Um, let me put this down. So there's, there's my tag as it stands at the moment. And because I realized I want to put holes in it but I don't want to do the, um, I don't want to use my crocodile and I don't want to put eyelets and whatnot in it. Um, I'm running out of eyelets. I have to get more. And so I just need to do something different. And I remembered I have, I wanted to do this with these. So I'm using, this is a vintage photo and I have an entire sheet of these. I'm going to do the whole sheet. That's kind of making a cool pattern. This is just my sheet that I put behind when I am going to do stuff like this. Okay, so now I have an entire sheet of hole reinforcers. Let me grab my hole punch. This is a cheap, I don't know, $1.79 hole punch from... Walmart. Nothing fancy. Let me grab my glue just to put on here and make sure because I don't remember how old. And these hole punches or these hole reinforcers, I think they came probably also from Walmart. I'm going to put one here. 
where I want it, and then I'm going to use my hole punch to come in and punch right through it. And then I use another one on the back. Doesn't that look cool? That is so easy to do. Now, if I don't, if I am a little concerned because it's not quite right, I can come in with my hole punch again and just take out that little extra bit. And on the back, I don't really care so much. But there's writing room on the back. It'll work fine with black ink. And then I have a whole tag. Easy. These are so easy to do. And they're fun because you get to play with stuff. I wish I had like a Christmas rose that you could see through to go right there. Ah, that's, we'll, we'll worry about putting stuff in there in a little bit. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do the next one or two or, you know, whatever. We find a bunch. I think I do want a little bit of, where's that tissue paper? It's not quite the right colored green, is it? So that one needs to go on something that's going to be all red. I have this green here. Do I have... Yes, 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 yes. I have something right here. That's just a little piece. I want to let slightly. This is my bag of tissue paper. And I have some Christmas tissue paper. I don't need quite that much. I think I'd like the reindeer. So we put the reindeer in here. A little bit of Christmas music. Hmm. I'm not liking this at all. Not liking that at all. I mean, here, let's, then let's work on this one. Do I want my reindeer here? Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. So I have my glue book here off to the side. I'm sorry if it's off camera. It I can't quite tell. It's just me putting glue on the back of it. And I'm not going to worry about things that hold off that go off to the side because I can trim those later. Okay. Bring that maybe so you can see. And I'm just being really careful because again, this is pretty fragile paper it's a nice thick stock paper but it's just see it's old if people pieces are falling off so let me get that stuff off of me and we'll trim that edge up quick there we go I want my green here now see I just don't like that so much just don't like it Okay, so what else can I use for a focal point? I have more joy. I have a Merry Christmas. Let me pull my Merry Christmas out and see if I like that. It's very, very small though, so I don't think this is going to work. I like that. That makes a nice little addition down here. We still need... Oh, I know who we need. I know who we need. Hang on. I'm here. Yep, we need Santa. Let me grab my lock. Um, this was a set of stickers that I think, I think maybe Park Lane. Okay, so I have a little Santa. And in fact, if you looked at one of the journals that I did just showed on Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday, has a scene in it with these, using these uh, stamps. 
used a couple of these and I put a Santa going over the top and a car going by with a tree in it. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. So I think I want, this is iced spruce. That's not going to be deep enough. Let me grab my, uh, hang on, I'm going to close, I'm going to stop you for a minute while I find my ink. Okay, it took me a bit, but I found it. I want the, uh, this is from Stampin' Up. It's Lost Lagoon. And this, I tell you, I can never get these things open. Okay, let me, there's a way to push it somehow. Oh my glory. Hang on. I had to have my husband get it open for me. I could not open this darn thing for beans. Okay. So this is pool, this is uh, Lost Lagoon. And I think I have enough ink on there. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Especially with such a tiny one. Okay, we're going to have him right over here. What's nice about stamping is if you don't like it, you can always just take it off and do something else. Okay, that works. Okay, we'll stamp that off. Merry Christmas. And do I want a little tag down here. Let me grab a little, see what we've got here. Got a little girl. I don't know that I want her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Santa. There we go. Okay, now I can kind of close this up. It's easier to close than it is to get it open. Oh my glory. Such a, such a, such a, such a jerk. I am just having trouble getting anything open today. All right. So I'm going to put Merry Christmas right here. And this is actually a sticker. So I just need a little bit of tape. These have been actually coming apart pretty quickly. I ordered this off of Amazon last year, This these vintage stickers. And I really do like them. I, I've been using them quite a bit. And they have a lot of sticky on them, so I don't have to do anything else. All right, let's try doing this this way this time. Put that there. We'll take our... I think this actually is a little bit easier to line up. And if it looks like they're off, I think they are. I, these are not, the, the holes in here are not centered. There we go. Okay, I'm set that one aside. Let's do another one. Really want to use this up. I got this piece here now. So we have here, uh, we need Christmas. Yay, Christmas, although I think I want you on green. Let's put you on a green one. Oh yeah, much brighter, much prettier. That one's a little bit more traditional, so there we go. So I hope you're having a good day today, and I hope you're just out playing with me, and I'm obviously still in a Christmas mode, uh, which I will probably, after my retreat this week I will probably no longer be in a Christmas mode because I am taking one two five journals with me that I have put together to make this weekend yep five of them so I'm pretty sure that by the end of the weekend I will be done with by the way, if anybody knows a good uh, scissor sharpener in the Finger Lakes area, I need to have my uh, scissors sharpened. Any, any place near Geneva, New York, I need to get my scissors done. Okay, we're definitely going to put that down in the back. We're going to put this here, but I need something. I need a big something. What do I have here that's a big something? 
So now with this one, I'm going to go a little bit differently at the top. Put that my hole punch in there. Where'd my holes go? There they are. My reinforcers. Put one there and one there. And then this is actually a tag and it has to and from on it. So what I'm going to do is take my, I have all these extra strings that are left over from other stuff and I'm going to thread it through here. And then I'm gonna thread it through here Thread the front through the loop, both of them please, thank you. And there we go. So now you have a little flippy tag. People can write to and from on the back of it there and then put it on a thing. Okay, that one's done. Do I wanna do the same with this one? Because the reason I say that, where'd you go? I just had them here a minute ago. Hang on, I lost them. There he is. I have a Santa. I have a Santa. That one's not really done very well, so you know what, we'll just do, hang on, I, I don't want to do such a large hole. I want to do a little hole. So I'm going to use my crocodile to punch out that hole. There. And let's do the same thing. Do I have more? I have more of that. Uh, that's a really long piece. I don't know if that I want this, such a long piece. There we go. I want that one. How big is that one? Let's use this one. These are all just when I, when I, whenever I am, um, doing up the binding on a on a journal. Sorry, I'm concentrating and trying to talk at the same time. When I do the binding, I end up with extra strings. They're extra long pieces, and so I just cut them off, throw them into this little container here, and I have all these little extra strings. Oh, I like that. And when you flip it up, you could see Santa's coming. You got the reindeer, Santa. Yeah, this one, per that's perfect. Okay. We'll figure out a tag for the other one later. In the meantime, oh my God, look at all the stuff I ended up getting out. So let's do this one. Um, I have this really cool tree. This was just uh, a cutout from... I don't know, from, just from a piece of cardstock. And it was white on the back, and I didn't like it so white, and so I used the green over it, and I really liked how it came out. Christmas secrets, season's greetings. In fact, there's another cutout from it that I did not put green all over. Where, what, where, what do I want to put with this? I think I want, I, I mean, I have a piece of red, that, but the red kind of gets lost on that. Where's my craft paper? I have lost my piece of craft paper. Get those out of the way. I, you know, it's not like I don't have any. I have so much craft paper. Let me just grab another sheet. Oh, there it is. It's right there. See, I'm going to grab another sheet, and there it is. This has got a perforated edge. So do I just want a little bit behind it? Maybe just a little bit behind it. We don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Just something to set it off a little bit. Do I want a little bit more music? Yeah, you know, you, you know how this is going. We don't know where the music went either. I had a whole sheet of music over here. A whole piece of music. You. This is why my desk is never like this. 
because I can't ever find anything if the desk is too messy. So my desk is almost always nice and neat. So we're going to put our finished cards over here before I lose those two. Sorry, taking a moment and cleaning up just a little bit because I can't find things and now that's going to drive me insane. I really, do you see the music? I don't see the music. So you know what that means? That means we get out another piece. Let me just grab it here. We'll just get another line of music from that sheet. Okay, I think I just want to take a little right out of the middle. Okay, witness, I'm putting it up there in the, the corner. Because I like that little piece of music, but it's just not big enough. Put that up in the corner. And then maybe we need a sentiment. Does it need to say Merry Christmas over the top of it? I think it might. Or does it need to say, meet me under the mistletoe? Do we need one of these? It's another Santa. I got some little birdies. Oh, you know what else I have? I have, um, we could also do a little bit of building. I don't know if I like that or not. Come on. I want that little piece. Oh, it's making it too busy. So if you're wondering, yes, this is my process all the time. Christmas secrets. There we go. Maybe that. Christmas secrets. This is this is how I work always. I am always trying this, trying that, trying this other thing. Um, you might say, okay, what does it need? It needs a number. It needs a label. A label. I do have labels. Let me grab a label. Hang on. Found it. Found what I needed. Just a little piece of, uh, this is actually wet strength tissue. And I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to just glue all this stuff down. I have, it's not that I switched to a wider one. It's that I have had this one in my stash for a bit and my little ones ran out. And I thought, oh, just use up these big ones. Um, generally, I like the smaller ones, partly because of the way they handle, but just because I do. Um, I think the glue is actually better. I know it says it's exactly the same stuff on this one. But this is the tissue that I'm using is wet strength tissue that was left over from a jelly printing session that I did. And I've only, I'm, I'm just gluing it down. Just gluing things down. Um, one of the things, by the way, that drives me a little bit batty, if you are a musician you know to put your music right side up because I have a friend who had a printer who was a printer and I mean he started in one of the things that he did he had uh, he knew how to read a printer's drawer um, with the type so he would grab the type and he would put be able to put it in and whatnot and I have a printer's drawer here that I just keep tchotchkes in. It's an old one. It was from something. I don't know. I picked it up somewhere along the line. 
it drove him crazy because to him it was upside down because I put the drawer handle at the top and he said, that's not the way you read it. You pull the drawer handle out so the handle is the front and then you read backwards. So I had it upside down. It drove him insane because that printer's drawer was upside down. So the same thing happens to me with music and with book pages. Not, not, book pages only a little bit, but um, definitely music. Don't, don't put it upside down. Just make sure you know which way is right. I have some Hebrew text, and I always have, before I take it out of the book, I always have to write top on the page so that I remember and get it so that it is the right way up. All right, so we have two red ones and we have two green ones. We're coming right along. Let's do a couple more. I got this Santa that really almost looks like he just needs to be there all by himself. I, these were fussy cut. I am not the world's greatest fussy cutter. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't fussy cut necessarily well. But that's what this is for. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those white edges. And we're going to get rid of all the places where I missed with the fussy cutting. Nobody's going to see them. So I like Santa just right there. I'm going to put the hole in first this time so I can make sure I center him well. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if he needs anything more. Do I want to throw a little bit of this behind him? It's not the same color as the as what's in there. We could do it this way. Because it's a straighter edge over there. I have several of these that I cut out from a kit. I'm just looking to see if that green is a little bit closer. And I do believe it is, so we're going to use this one. And then we might call this one done. Well, we'll put the holes on, but yeah. That'll be a quick, easy one. Okay, a little bit of glue on this very, very, very old tissue paper. I went to get a box out of the attic. I opened up, the, you know, because I always save gift boxes. So I went to get a gift box. I opened it up, and there was this piece of paper in it, this piece of tissue paper. And it was, it like I said, it is very, very old. I have no idea how long that tissue paper had been in there or how long the kit box had been up there, but it had been a while. Do you save gift boxes as well? This I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on rather than glue stick because it's cardstock on cardstock, and sometimes I think the Fabri-Tac just holds it a little bit better. I would probably, if I had art glitter glue, I'd probably use that. I don't have any of that, so... There we go, and we're going to use our reinforcers up at the top. Come on, line up. I haven't put things in the holes on this one, but there we go, we got another one done. So let's do another one like that, but let's do it in, I've still got the skinny ones to do too yet. Okay, now I don't, I'm going to admit, I don't know that I like, this is one that I, it, it's so much around the edge. wonder if I could do that. I have these scissors. I could give it a jagged edge. All right. Uh... I hate to keep pausing you, but I'm going to pause you one more time. Okay, I'm back. I used the scissors 
And now I'm just trying to see if this is going to work with the... Um, this is just, uh, again, the Stress Oxide Vintage Photo. Coming around the outsides with it. I don't, I don't remember what digital kit I got this out of. Um, put those away so that they're not on my table. And I I really like the, the pictures, the images, the old Santa images. But, boy, were they a pain in the neck to cut out. What I like about this one is it has a little catcher. So the little holes don't go everywhere. Okay, where's that little bit of red that I had? That for some reason has something stuck to it. Do I want a little bit of red here? What if we did this? Put a little bit of red up here, a little bit of red down here. Don't like it. That's yucky. So we're not going to put that in there. I have a little bit of red here. It needs something. This one, this one does not exist well by itself. That's not bad. Still trying to cover up all the white because that the scissors was able I could get pretty close to it but there's still a lot of I don't want any white showing well I like that color better I think no maybe not come on a little bit of piece no I think I go back with the original Okay, there's a little bit of white on here too, so we're just going to cover that up, or at least tone it down. These, again, are just pieces left over from, I don't know, some other project. And rather than throw it all into the landfill, all that is going to get recycled, in this case, is that tiny little piece. Done. Okay. Now we're cooking. Maybe. There we go. We'll put our little Christmas tree right here. I want it to overlap just a little bit on the the red here. Okay, we'll find a tag for you in a bit. Let's deal with you guys. So this is a mass make day. Obviously that did not quite come all the way out. There we go. Get that little bit. That's better. Mass Make Monday. I usually we call this Maker Monday, but I guess maybe it's Mass Make Monday today. Okay. So, so far, and I'm probably going to turn off the camera at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We've done six tags. Um, I still have two large tags and four ah, skinnier tags, which I'm going to do up while I'm sitting here. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit, hit the subscribe button. Click like to let YouTube know that you like them. And uh, have a great day. Today's just to me, um, sit here and mass make day because the weather outside is crappy. <laughs> have a great day. This is Cindy signing off.